Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a hanging box sparrow decoy box. Um, so I just used like an Amazon box um, to do this and it's, you know, it's a pretty small size. Sorry, I can't get it all in frame here. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you how to close this up and make it so that you can set a Van Ert trap in it and then hang it up. Um, so the first thing was I, in the inside, I reinforced that it was taped um, this way too, just, just in case the sparrow wanted to pick at it. Um, and this one is already done, but I'm still going to try and show you how to do this. So um, on one end of the box here, I've got a hole. And um, I guess I should also talk really quick about the tools that you need. So um, for the hole, I needed something to trace and this tiny mason jar was good. I think like a paper towel roll um, or a toilet paper roll would also work as a good tracer. So um, you would just trace your, your hole using something like this. So you'll need something like that to um, trace. You'll need some kind of pen or marker to mark your holes and spots. Um, I have an awl here for uh, getting the screws in for the Van Ert trap. You want scissors to cut the hole out and cut string and things like that. Um, you may need some masking tape or duct tape or scotch tape. Um, it's not going to be like the greatest box in the world, but it does the trick. Um, so yeah, string for hanging the box. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the only way you can do it is hang it. And then um, two, two screws for the Van Ert trap. I don't know if you can see that very well. These are probably larger than necessary, but um, yeah, it's all I had. And then I have about six rubber bands and this is what I'm gonna keep it shut. I, I was taping it shut before, but then you have to like untape it in order to reset it over and over. So I'm gonna try it with rubber bands instead. So yeah, with that, we'll get started. So again, like I said, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you get your box, um, make sure you know it's, it's taped on one side, and then you're going to just use your, your tracer and trace the hole, and then you'd get your scissors out and you just, um, actually sometimes what makes it easier is, is take the awl and pop a hole in it so you get a start hole going, and then you can get your scissors in there and cut around. Um, so the next thing, is on the inside we got to figure out where to place the van ert trap so that's another tool that i didn't mention but you'll need that as a van ert trap i covered my orange spot because the sparrows were getting a little too smart about that when they saw it they weren't um, going in so if you do have it covered you just need to be really careful to check your trap so um, i i put it in there i make sure that the hole is covered and then um, ooh, this is hard to show. So, so if you see here, it's placed, and then I'm just gonna take my pen and I'm gonna mark that top, top screw section right here and the top one right here. So that's where my screw placement's gonna go, and I've marked that. And then once it's marked, I mean the holes are already in this one, but once it's marked, then I'm just going to take my awl and I'm going to punch it through really good. Um, if you don't have an awl, you could probably make it work with a pen or a screwdriver, um, like a, like a, yeah. So I do that and then I start putting my screws through it and they'll twist right in. So and demonstrate this so they twist in and again you know this is this is just a makeshift thing the reason I was doing this is because um, there was too much interest in my decoy box like bluebird interest so I wasn't gonna buy a third box I decided to just get some cardboard so I'm just gonna twist those screws in there it's really easy to do and then um, before I set the trap in there I like I have these things hanging out got masking tape um, and this is just to secure the screws so I'm gonna pull out a section here and um, just begin kind of taping around here 
And it, it doesn't have to be nice, it's just to get it so that the this side of the screw is fatter than the hole so it won't come out. Okay, so you'll have it like that. Um, and now, um, one other thing you'd want to do just to set this up is get like a string attached. So I just did this with twine and duct tape, so this is where the string comes in. Um, you could poke holes um, to do it. I really, I actually did it that way, but I didn't really have a needle to uh, get the string through, to feed it through, so this will work. Um, and then the last thing is, when you're closing this, the way I'm doing this is um, I closed these flaps first, these horizontal flaps first, and I took my scissors and I cut a small access door. And the reason I do that is so that all I have to do is flip this down, flip this down, and when the box is in the mesh bag to take care of the sparrow and let it out of the box, um, all you have to do is take a rubber band and roll it off, and then this opens and the sparrow can fly out. So I'll kind of show you this when I seal up the box. Um, so yeah, the next thing is getting the Van Ert trap in there, and you uh, you want to make sure you set it before you close it because I've made that mistake before. So I'm trying to get it so you can see here, and it's not easy placing the Van Ert in here just because this is flimsy, but it you know it does the trick. Um, so you're just gonna slide it on those screws and push down. And then you set your trap. I hope you can see that. And then your trap is set. So now we'll just shut the box up. So to do that, I use the rubber bands. And the one thing you have to be careful of is the hole. So not to cover the hole. And then, um, so like this section, you want to make it so he can't bust through. And I would put probably two there. Um, I think that's enough force to hold him in. To he couldn't, couldn't really get through it too easily. So that's pretty good there. And then you're gonna close this one up and don't turn your box upside down, but you're just going to get a rubber band up here. And I would really only use rubber one rubber band here because again, once, once this is in the mesh bag, all you're gonna do is roll this band up and then he'll be able to pop out into the mesh bag through here. So, um, and then the rubber bands are great because you just undo them, reset the trap, and hang it. I've just been hanging it up in a bush like this. A lot of good birds out today. That's all there is to it. Um, hopefully it works for you, but it's a great solution. It's a quick solution, and you don't have to spend extra money on a decoy box. You can just use something like this.